What's up, YouTube? Good morning. So yesterday, late in the afternoon, we had a uh, 2001 Honda Odyssey drop off for uh, stalling, and took it to the dealer for a diagnostic. And they said that it's voltage related and a bunch of codes in the system. They cleared the codes, road tested, didn't didn't duplicate the concern. Nor did the codes come back. I was like, how about that? And the customer says they didn't tell him what was wrong with the car, but on the receipt, it said that uh, they suspected a voltage issue. It had a bunch of codes, throttle position sensor, transmission uh, position sensor, airbag, cat efficiency code, a handful of codes, right? So cat efficiency code plugged partially plugged who knows uh, he didn't fix that declined that uh, airbag declined and then throttle position definitely could cause a stall transmission uh, range sensor definitely could cause a stall was there any recommendations for a throttle body service nope tune up nope uh, how about an explanation of a vehicle of this age that's in in dire need of repair pages of recommendations and what I mean by that is I go out to the vehicle I walk around I see the left front tire is just about flat dry rot and cracked that didn't happen overnight now mind you they went to the Honda dealer August 31st so not even a month ago so that tire didn't go dry, dry rot overnight left rear tires in bad shape start the car up and it's a little tappy, no engine lights on, just an airbag light. <clears throat> I put it in gear, thump, thump, thump. Motor mounts, transmission mounts are trashed. No documentation from the dealership technician who actually drove this car twice. Steering wheel and uh, front end are a mess. Steering wheel's shaking, front end's making noise. At this point, I'm like, all right, I'm not driving this, this thing around any further, bring it back to the shop. I scan it, the only code that's in there is the cat efficiency code, and I don't have any duplicate duplication of his original concerns, <clears throat> other than the car is in dire need of tons of repairs. No recommendation for a fuel filter, no recommendation for fuel pump, almost a 30 year old vehicle, and nothing is recommended. Just stating what they found pertaining to the engine stall. And not giving him a snapshot of what the F is going on with his car. One, you're not fixing anything. Uh, why they didn't, you know, bring to his attention that your motor mounts and transmission mounts are bad. Pulling on your engine harnesses. Pulling on trans lines, fuel lines. Pulling on your intake boot. <clears throat> None of that shit's good for your car. Oh, what are they doing? They're blocking, they block this off? Oh. Um, and it just pisses me off because he paid for that, right? And of course, now I got to charge him again to look at the car <clears throat> because he feels that he has no resolution, but he had a partial resolution of what the vehicle needs on the receipt. They didn't go to the next step. Like, hey, almost a 30-year-old car, all this stuff is worn or wore wear out. It could be intermittents right now, but you're gonna have to start changing some parts. That's just the way that it is. <clears throat> it's not gonna be just one part to fix the problems. And an engine stall typically is not gonna come <clears throat> from a, an alternator problem, unless it locks up, which I, I didn't hear any noises from that. And low voltage will wreak havoc on your entire system but it's not gonna cause your transmission range sensor to code or your throttle position sensor to code or a cat efficiency sensor to code. It just boggles my mind how many dealer techs out there just don't report all the conditions. <clears throat> it protects you and then it educates the customer on like, hey man, damn, I haven't been fixing anything. No kidding, dude. It shows, you can feel it. You can't even drive your car. I can't, I couldn't drive his car comfortably. Uh, knowing the wheels shaking, the tires dry rotted and cracked, the left rear tires bad, front end's a mess, 
And then what, it's going to stall on me while I'm out on the road test? No way. And uh, I want to show you that receipt too when I get back there that there's no documentation of all the other issues wrong with the car. And, and ultimately, safety conditions. Like, why wouldn't you tell your customer, on top of your other issues that we found problems in systems, you have safety issues going on. And further inspection is required, because that's what I told Rachel. <clears throat> he needs to start fixing some things, for one, so I can make a proper road test, like the tires, and maybe the front end. Um, but I'm not going any further until this, this guy starts committing to fixing some things. Now, he has to make a decision now. He's never going to fix anything and get rid of it. <coughs> or he's going to start taking steps to address his problems. That's already documented from the dealership. And then now again from me.